hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this adidas logo reveal animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, I'll name it as main animation as always, like this. Then width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 and duration is also 30 seconds. And background color is black color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title safe action like this. Now I'm going to bring my logo comp over here, I'll select this and I'll move this over here like this. Now size of this logo is quite big and we cannot see this logo because it's in black. So go to the effect and presets panel and search for fill effect and simply double click to apply. And instead of red, I'm going to choose white color and simply hit OK. Then press S and adjust the size. I'm going to move somewhere around like this. I think this much looks good. So let's make it proper 40. So it would be good for us. Now. I'm going to select this, I'll press P for position, create one keyframe, press T for opacity, create another keyframe and hit U. Zoom in a little bit, go to around 1.10 frames, again create another keyframes. Then go to the start and select this thing downwards and let's make this opacity 0. Now select those keyframes and hit F9. Go to the graph editor, right click and make sure that you are in your speed graph. Select this graph by holding shift, I'll move this handle over here, select this and move this handle over here. So if I see, I'll get this kind of animation. Make sure to initial, will, uh, not velocity, but opacity should be zero. So we'll get this kind of reveal. Okay, now I'm going to select this logo and I'll hit control D, I'll hit U. So we can see those keyframes. I'll go to somewhere around two seconds and then I'm going to select those keyframes and I'll hit delete. Okay, so hit U. And I'm going to select this first layer. I'll press control shift C to pre-compose this. And I'm going to call it as logo, sorry, like this. And let's hide this one for now. We don't need to look at this one. I also will focus on this one. Then after doing that, uh, I know that there is no animation for this one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in pre effect and presets panel. Then I'll search for one effect known as shatter. So simply double click to apply. So you will get this kind of uh, animation over here and make sure that you are in quarter resolution. So it would be easy for you to preview in your viewport. Then go to the view uh, option over here in shatter. Right now it's wireframe and forces. Instead of that, I'm going to choose render. So uh, if you see, we will get this kind of animation, but this is not a proper we want. So we will change some uh, dynamics and properties over here. So first one is shape. Now, right now it's bricks, so you can choose whatever you want, like you can choose this glass type structure, so you will get something like this. And uh, there are so many options, uh, so you can go along with that. And over here, extrude depth is uh, 0.2 over here, I don't want that, so I'm going to make it 0. And repetitions, I'm going to choose 200. So if you see this stuff now, you will get this kind of breaking effect for this one. Okay, it will take a little bit time to load, but it's okay. Uh, your final output would be awesome. Okay, but the, we don't want to uh, explore this entire logo. So what we are going to do, we will go to the start and then we will go to the forces over here like this. And now right now radius is 0.4. I'm going to choose 0.1. So as you guys can see, we will get this break only from here. But now we need to animate this anchor points over here. So let's go to the start. And if you see the position of this logo is properly at the center. So I'm going to move this over here and then downwards. So as you guys can see, we'll get one anchor point. And whenever you are going to move it somewhere, let's go few frame forwards. As you guys can see, we will get this kind of mm, breaking effect over there. So let's go to the start and initially I'm going to move this over here and let's create one keyframe at position and hit U. Go to around one second. I'll move this effect, sorry, uh, move this thing from here to here like this and make sure that it should cover this entire portion. Then go to around two seconds. Then I'm going to move this from here to here and make sure that it properly slice this logo. 
then go to around three seconds we will move this from here to here and uh, during moving make sure that there is no such remaining is required over here so it would look uh, different like if i play from here as you guys can see still few parts are remaining so let's go over here and we'll move this anchor point over here so there should be no remaining then go to around four seconds then i'm going to move this from here to here so it will break this portion and then go to around five seconds and let's go over here and select this and let's move this a little bit over here then at five frames i'm going to move this from here to here okay like this so if i see this animation like now i'll get first this this and then this it's take a too much time to load and we want this a little bit faster so i'm going to select this and then i'm going to hit f9 then by holding alt i'm going to move it up to four seconds only okay so if i see this stuff now uh, it will take a little bit time to load but we will get something like this okay okay and now uh, our basic animation is ready and now you can play along with colors so let's press ctrl y to create one solid background i'm going to want this animation should be in different colors so uh, let's select this one first and we are going to apply let's go inside this i'm going to select this logo i'll go inside this and instead of this color i'm going to choose let's say somewhere around this bluish color and hit ok and i'll select this fill and i'll hit ctrl c to copy i'll go over here i'll select this fill over logo over here let's unhide it and hit ctrl v to paste it like this uh, let's close this let's see we have this one and instead of uh, inside uh, we are we need to select this fill let's delete this fill and we'll go over here let's enable this logo and then uh, i'm going to select this fill over here i'll hit ctrl c i'll select this one and i'll hit ctrl v like this and now uh, let's select this logo let's hide this first one i'm going to select this logo over here hit ctrl d to duplicate it select this last one and hit u and we are going to delete those keyframes we don't need this one and over here i'm going to choose black color for this why we will check that so now if you see properly one we have this logo uh, entire animation cop which is with blue color then uh, we have this uh, comp over here not comp but logo layer which is in blue color and then we have this uh, black color you know logo and now we need to uh, arrange them one by one so first one is this logo so i'll bring this at the top and hit u so first i want this animation should be start then at after this point i'm going to select my logo comp over here which is this one hit u and let's simply move this over here and then i'm going to select this one and i'll press ctrl shift d to split it and i'll delete this then it will start to animate this one and then uh, i'll go over here i'll select this logo layer which is the black color logo and i'll simply move this over here and then it should start to do this stuff and if you want then you can change the colors of it like suppose if i select this and let's choose a black color or something something like black or not completely black but something like this color hit ok select this fill effect hit ctrl c uh, then go over here see uh, let's delete this fill and we will apply this fill effect and over here instead of this black color i can choose this color over here so uh, you can do that also so it's totally up to you you can choose whatever color combinations if you want but this is how you can create this kind of logo reveal animation inside of after effects with not only adidas logo but you can choose whatever logo you want okay so that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video